In these tutorials, we're going to look how we can create um, alpha plane basic tree inside the plane factory. The reason is why we want to do this. It is to save on some memory. For example, like this image, which have it thousands, very extensive population of ecosystem. It was taking only about 150,000 polygons versus if we were going with the trees, the usual ones, they will take about 2.5 billion polygons. So it's obviously safe on a memory when we start working with this. Um, also, we're going to look how we can create a different variation. So for example, like right here, you can see this is um, TPF plan, but each time when you're creating, it's create a new variations of this echo plan. So it's make more natural and more interesting look for us when we're using in populations. We also will look on some plus and minuses by using alpha plans. So let's go ahead and first jump inside the view to look what is alpha planes is. Okay, the alpha plane, it's a simple way. It is a simple one way polygon. So if we're going to create right here, the alpha plane, okay, and we'll just set as default, you'll notice right here from two polygons, we jump to three polygons. So this is just taking only one polygon to create this plane. So if I want to go and create a thousand instance, it will be just thousand add more polygons. If we're going to use a uh, different objects with the multiple polygons, for example, let's go just delete this plane. Okay, back to two polygons. If I even create a terrain, simple terrain, you can see it's going 130,000. And of course, if we're going to take this and populate with an ecosystem, let's go to create a um, new layer convert to ecosystem and as an ecosystem we will just take a very simple uh, maybe basic a uh, plant we'll populate with basic presets and you can see we're already 2.5 billion polygons so obviously it's take more time more memory to render this so all what we want to do is to fix some of these uh, problems we may occur by utilizing ecosystem. And again, if we're going very far away, like right here uh, in a distance, you won't see a real different. Even in, if you work very close up, you will see with alpha plane some benefits. It's have some minuses, like for example, animations, some shadowing and other things. And we'll address those in our last portion when we go over tips and tricks and some tweaks, how you can work a little bit better with this. So when you create alpha plane, you actually need to provide from some areas the uh, plane or image of the plants. And it's have it multiple places you can look for this. For example, you can go inside some stock um, photography, for example, Adobe stock, and just search for isolated trees or sort of this, and you can see it's come up with bigger, like for example, this one, we have many different ones. You can just preload it and use it them already. Problem with some stock photography, like for example, an Adobe, they come as a JPEG, so they don't have a mask for you. Some other ones, sites, uh, I stock photo or other ones m sometimes provide also with PSD or TFF with alpha masks, so they already mask out. Um, however, some trees, when you go on Adobe, notice some of them have it already shapes. So you kind of almost sometimes need to purchase two images, one with a just alpha mask in JPEG and another one's uh, color it so you can use it. This is one way to purchase on a stock photography. The other ways you can also going to XFrog and XFrog, if you go to samples, they have a lot of free plants. They update constantly. Overall, it's a good way to kind of create a static plans for yours. And they also have it in view format. And if you're going down right there, they also have a 2D plans. So you can just uh, upload it mask if you need it. Um, if you're interested, they have it very big collections, a lot of time on sales. So if you like it, you can purchase from them. 
There are other ones you can also create by yourself. You can create by using different applications. For example, here's a filter forge and they have it all as different. This is not the best tree, but give you ideas so you can see you can create by using the tools. Um, they also you can create by using inside the uh, Photoshop and it's what we're going to do. We're actually going to use it Photoshop and Photoshop render trees to create our own alpha mask that we can go to use it in our tutorial. If you don't have any of these applications, any purchase tutorials, then pack with alpha trees coming with tutorials. Be sure you're going to asset folder, going to alpha trees and I use it the trees from that point. Okay, so let's go ahead and start working on our plan factory plans. And we'll go start by using Adobe Photoshop first.